Hello, my name is Matt Gerbrick, and I'm going to be talking to you today about three different principles that deal with cognitive load. Redundancy, coherence, and the spatial contiguity principles based on the Cambridge Handbook of Multimedia Learning by Richard Mayer. So these are the three principles we're going to be talking about. And the first we're going to look at is the redundancy principle, which states that people learn more deeply from graphics and narration than from graphics, narration, and on-screen text. The visual I have here is a little silly, but it has a Pizza Hut sign that says, we have pizza, and then below it, there's a graphic that says, pizza, we have some. A redundant message that would not necessarily have to have all of those things to let you know what was available at that restaurant. I have a video I want you to watch, and I want you to see if you can find some examples of the redundancy principle being violated in this short video. It's important to be a great free throw shooter, not just if you're fouled, but so that you're on the court late in the game. The key to being a great free throw shooter is focus, balance, and consistency. When you're doing a free throw, it's really important to be calm and relaxed. It starts with your feet. Make sure you have good balance with your left foot as a righty, being halfway in between your right foot and then shoulder width apart. Legs are bent, shoulders are forward, wrist is behind the ball and caught. Raise the ball up slowly while keeping your legs down. And then with your eyes on the rim, power up and follow through, holding your follow through and finishing on your toe. Did you notice the redundancy in the video? There were at least four things, one being the video of the shot mechanics, a second being the coach describing the shot mechanics, the third being the closed captioning that included some errors of the audio, and there were called out arrows showing obvious things. There was also some extraneous material in there that uh, could contribute to extraneous cognitive load with that music being played throughout the instruction. So how can we fix this? Well, let's just have the video of the shot mechanics and the coach describing the shot mechanics. The second principle we want to look at is the coherence principle, which states that people learn more deeply from a multimedia message when extraneous material is excluded rather than included. I want to tell you a little story about the trip I took to Africa a number of years ago. And uh, we went to go hunt some tigers, but I was really just going to take some pictures because uh, you know, I don't think it's very nice to shoot them. But there's a picture that I took of a tiger while I was in Africa on my uh, photo hunt. I don't know if any of you are golfers or not, or if you followed what's going on lately with Tiger Woods, by the way. Um, he's been injured lately and not sure if he's going to get back on the tour or not. So we'll have to keep, keep a note of that. Hopefully you noticed the coherence principle being violated in that example, where I was talking about Africa and I was talking about the, lot, the tigers that I saw there and took pictures of. And then I just happened to throw in some extraneous material about Tiger Woods that really didn't relate to the lesson or the story at all. The third principle is the spatial contiguity principle, which states that people learn more deeply from multimedia when corresponding words and pictures are posted near rather than far on the page or screen. Here's two examples where there's a diagram with very simple letter, uh, labeling and then some explanation on the right, and that's at the top half. The bottom half of this diagram shows the terminology with some description right there with the pictures. So the bottom half of this example would be a, a good example of spatial contiguity being done or adhered to correctly. Here's another example. There's a maple tree. It gives us tasty syrup. And the coconut tree, we find them at the beach. This wouldn't be that hard to figure out which is which, but there is some blank space in between that's really unnecessary. This could be remedied by using this example where the text and the photograph are right near each other. So this video looked at the three different principles, redundancy, coherence, 
in spatial continuity. And I hope they helped you to understand better about how to design instruction for your course to maximize student learning and reduce cognitive load.